Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Banati Bombers Personal Finance Edition and I'm just going to move straight into it. Today, I'm not in a very good mood and so I think I have to upload the video. So I thought maybe rant about people, see what other people are spending so that we can rant and we can see मतलब हम गुस्सा निकाल सके अपना ऐसा आज मेरा मन है कि हम गुस्सा निकाल सके अपना कि लोग कैसे इतना पैसा बर्बाद कर सकते हैं तो हम आज वही करने वाले हैं सो वी आर गोन सी अ वीडियो रिएक्टिंग टू अ पर्सन सो इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट इट वे बैक अलॉन्ग ऑल दिस पेंडेमिक हैपनिंग सो देर वॉज अ सीरीज इन विच पीपल टेल अस अबाउट हाउ मच दे स्पेंड इन अ वीक एंड वी आर गोन सी अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट बिकॉज आई एम अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट सो आई कैन जस्टिफाई दिस reacting to this so i can justify that so we are going to see how much a person spends as a college student and we i'm going to tell you guys pretty frank i'm not in a very good mood so we are going to be brutally honest yeah let's move on just did a bad thing yeah i did i regret the thing i did sort of not really i do it every week and if you're wondering what it is i'll tell you what i did so just from the start guys i think it's going to be pretty good my anger is level is going to be down because the way she spent her money i think it's going to be good because that's going to be pretty good because she is is spending i think she is spending enough so that we can get our rent out it's any let's talk about how much money i spend as a relatively responsible kind of sort of normal college teenager baby woo guys did you see that she put five adjectives relatively sort of responsible and other two i don't know so if a person put this much of adjectives in just one line they are trying to prove themselves they are trying to prove themselves and faking it that they are going to spend less money uh, in this case i think it's going to be a pretty good i'm i getting hyped up guys i'm getting hyped up I have seen a ton of people do this video, but for whatever reason, YouTube likes to mock me for being in student debt and just recommends me people who are millionaires. That's how the YouTube algorithm works, guys. That's how the YouTube algorithm works. And please be sure to hit the like button, destroy it and turn into blue so that other people can also see how much a person, college student are spending so much. and can also get a fun sit backs relax and see they are in a very good position as compared to them and like live in LA and get like $600 haircuts so from the very first start guys we got a first $600, $600 haircut guys $600 haircut so first of all very bad expense and especially for second of all i don't get how much women spend on the makeup and the beauty things of their own like $600 haircut that's like the mortgage guys that is really a mortgage of a house in us especially so first off i'm getting i'm getting i hyped up hyped up guys 600 dollar haircut so first of all bad expense don't do it don't recommend it and no one should get that can't freaking relate so that cost that's what i said that was a little self reflection and i was like maybe i'm actually spending a lot more money than i think i yes you are spending 600 dollars on a freaking haircut and guys I think it's straight hair nothing too fancy I don't know even if she if I don't know about how much coloring the hair cost but I don't think so if I saw that I'm going to say oh that $600 haircut I should go talk to her that's not going to happen I am and I just think I'm some great financial advisor when in reality I'm an idiot you are an idiot because you said six adjectives in one line and you are relating to a financial advisor who knows more things like stocks bitcoin ethereum etfs mutual funds and guys i i think most of the people know and if you don't know what bitcoin is other cryptocurrency and you're afraid of that i'm going to give 50 rupees of free bitcoin just click the link down below you're going to get 50 rupees of free bitcoin and it's going to climb up guys so yeah so i thought it would be fun to track my finances for a week let's get into it first up i have my fixed expenses that i calculated and just because i'm not actually swiping my debit card every week to pay these things does not mean that the funds are not exiting my bank account so so this is even i'm angry uh, i'm going to say for the video that indian student please be respected for the parent they are spending 
if you go outside and live you're going to pay rent you're going to pay for food you're going to pay for wifi these are things that you're going to pay so please be respectful for the parent that they're giving you especially the most of the college fees are paid by the parents in india so please be respectful towards them and maintain that they are paying for all of the things that you have laptop everything even electricity you don't you are not paying you are a liability to them you are not an asset so be an asset try to make up earn something so that you can support them so i appreciate her through her i can spread this awareness so that children can respect their parent that they are providing so much and sacrificing so much of their time in doing so oh i feel like it needs to be included first up we have a biggie <laughs> rent. I live in a four bedroom, two bathroom apartment in State College, Pennsylvania, home of the Pennsylvania State University. Woohoohoo! So, fellow mate, so I am a defending champion at Penn State Hackathon, which happened in 2020 20 November ish. November ish, if I remember it. And I'm the hackathon, of, I'm the winning hackathon of the AI challenge. So, I can relate. Fellow mate, I have friends over there. So, but I'm gonna say one thing, the student loans are fucking big in Penn State. It's gonna be huge and I'm excited to see how much she has student loans. I live with myself, unfortunately. How could she live with herself in a four bedroom, like four bedroom with herself, like does she have like a laptop, uh, a study room, a workout room? A Netflix room like how could she do that definitely and three other people now I get it now I get it my apologies guys I ranted too much earlier I'm I'm reacting to this I'm watching this for the first time so please be patient if I say things that gonna be uh, wrong after I watch another second of that so please be patient about that so we each have our own bedroom and our rent per month is six hundred and eighty five dollars per person and I would say that's a pretty good rate considering I have my own room. I've seen apartments vary from $500 a month to $1,200 a month if you live in one of the giant really nice high rises. Rent's kind of a hard thing to compare because for some college towns that would be really expensive and for others that would be really cheap. So I would just say that after talking to some of my friends, I'm kind of in the mid-range of apartments and I'm on the lower end for apartments that I would get my own bedroom for. That's what everyone says when they are trying to convince them so that I spend very less money. I am on the lower. People are spending more than, but you're gonna realize that later on in the life. If I pay my rent monthly and it's 685, there are four weeks in a month. We didn't know that. Like how she said, we didn't know that. So we divide that and you get $171.25. We decided not to get cable so that we wouldn't have to pay it. Very good thing. Very good thing. Guys, don't get TV when you are in a PG. Like Netflix is good enough. You get all the stuff. And even with this, who watch TV? Like I have a TV in my room, I don't watch it. I just use for my HDMI and project my laptop and work on that. No one's gonna watch TV and especially if you're a college student. So good decision, keep in mind guys. And because my roommate Taylor has this really cool dish account that we just kind of mooch off of. That's like, that's a real problem. If you are the owner, if you are like a user consumer, that's very good for you. That's how like Indian student use Netflix, Amazon Prime. Person, person 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 and this and this are not even related anyhow by but still this person has access to his account and guys this is a real issue i had personally that i gave my netflix account to a person who gave to other person who gave to other person and when i check the history there is there is a setting you can check when last was account the account was accessed in kerala guys like i live in delhi how could this be passed to kerala so i First of all, I changed the password, I deleted all of the users and reframed it I, I, and now I don't give it to anyone else. Be sure that. Guys, this happens a lot and if you are, if you know what I mean, you can- The only other thing that I feel like is kind of worth mentioning is my college tuition. Yep, guys, we are getting into it, we are getting into it. Student, 
डेप्थ एंड लोन आर बिग थिंग इन यू एस एंड आई आई रियली आई एम रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू से अबाउट दोज थिंग्स रैंट अबाउट दैट विल इंक्रीज माई जॉय इंक्रीज आई एम बी मोर हैप्पी लेट माई एंगर आउट let's be real paying for college tuition is like the kim k of all bills it's thick as f- yep 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 guys college and uh, and i would like to say a message to all of the viewers that please be thankful to the parents that they are paying your college you are not paying please think about that they they just pay it without even asking so even though they are li- you are liable to them but be sure they are paying so much of your lifestyle be respectful Be respectful, guys. Frick, but for personal reasons, I don't really feel like including that part, just because it's going to reveal a lot of my personal information and like FAFSA sort of stuff. So, if you want to see how much certain guys, now my anger is all up. Now I'm like epitome of it. The way I started, it reduced a bit, but now it's all up. We need something good. We need something good to rant about, guys. We need something good. Today, my roommates and I went grocery shopping, and we do this about once every two weeks, and it's usually on a Friday. I don't know why. I don't know what that says about our social lives, but guys, guys, did you see that? That's Raman, and it's India Maggie. It's going to lead to Indian Maggie, and that's how much package you get when you live in a hostel. and you i am i'm going to say when i go to like hostel and pick up i pick chips lot pepsi a lot maggi and egg that's the only diet that i have and i think most of the college student can relate to that drop that out so college <laughs> Guys, did you see that? All of that stuff. What I said. It's almost same. Like, like college student are like interconnected with a network. We all can talk to each other. We all know what we're gonna eat. We decide to split the bill evenly between the three of us because it's just more cost effective to do that. And no, 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 guys, 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 no. We wanna get something good. So, guys, don't do that. Pay. what you would like to have your own don't pay for other people's stuff just because it's easy a, a two minute talk can change from paying 1000 to 500 because you only need that stuff that you need so i i think we should take responsibility of our own finances and not divide that's my opinion and i stick to that our bill for our groceries ended up being $105.75 so if you divide that by the three of us you get $35.26 which i think is pretty good i think too like $35 for two weeks i think it's pretty good for a grocery so $70 a month that's pretty good that's pretty good but we have to remember we eat unhealthy guys we are student we eat unhealthy so an unhealthy food is cheap After the grocery store we skirted to Ulta because this does not come naturally people But guys this comes all naturally this is all natural just neva cream and almond oil but I want to talk about another thing that I would really like I don't get the point of girls spending so much amount of money in their hair I talk $600 haircut I don't get that all this eyeliner stuff I I don't think so maybe girls notice but i don't think so boys notice that much stuff I, like i don't so i don't think so many other boys can like separate if you look like this or i, I don't know let's move on and that was 24.38 which guys she paid amount for the last year i don't know what that is but she paid for that amount and if you increase 10 dollars that's the food the grocery food for two weeks so you can compare you're spending One and a half week of food cost to get an eyeliner or something like that. So guys, not a good decision to be made and very bad. Which is kind of ridiculous that I can get food for two weeks for just ten dollars more than that. A pack for myself because that's what I said earlier, guys. Told you the college student network. It's all there. It's all there. You need to realize that. But. 
On Saturday, I went out to eat at a casual place downtown with my boyfriend. A tip for guys, don't go out on Saturdays or Sundays. Go on weekdays, the price is gonna be half and go on happy hours 12 to 4, you wanna buy one and get one. So please, don't do that and I don't get the relationship stuff uh, so I'm not gonna comment if she goes with boyfriend or... But my... I'm gonna say one thing. She should pay her own bill because that happens a lot. Girls don't pay their bill. They expect boys to pay. Especially when I have gone to dates which is one. I paid the bill. So I think girls should pay the bill. So if she did that, respect. Oh my god. But since this isn't the 1920s, I paid for my own food and my bill came out to... I, I, I all things aside, I'm respecting her more. Six dollars and fifty-seven cents. And that's including tip because I literally just got a chicken sandwich, so... Guys, are you noticing that chicken sandwich just contains the bun and the chicken patty? It's like the McDonald's. They don't give onions because farmers are not producing good tomatoes and stuff like that. So... Uh... And then Saturday night, me and my friends were like, frick it, we're going bowling. Because Guys, that's not a good sign. If you have friends like that, go on a bowling. Go on a trip. That will literally destroy your finances. And you're gonna ask for more money. And that's not a very good thing. You should invest that money instead and let it grow. In my opinion, that's what I do. That's totally what most college-aged people do on a Saturday. Uh, yeah, that's like people justify it that it's gonna be an experience. But I don't get the point of that. If we, we, we just gonna have fun, let's go over McDonald's and have the 25 rupees Mekalu Tiki and enjoy. I don't get the fun of getting $600 or $300 on a Starbucks coffee. That's not a good financial expense. Saturday night. <laughs> Guys, did you notice that like the bowling is less like bowling and more like a bar with all the lighting you just need the drinks and it's gonna be look like a bar and the music always playing in the background so <laughs> it's a bar bowling was really fun i feel like it's regular for us to kind of do some sort of fun activity like that throughout the week because we just get bored with our freaking lives honestly and school is just guys you can't get bored with your freaking lifestyle you have lots of work to do especially i have lots of work to do i'm working you just work guys if you are bored there i'm i'm pretty sure if you really sit down and think about what you have to do there are a lot of things that are gonna come up either you have to do the homework the assignments or read stuff so you are not actually free you are just pretending that you are free and you don't have to do so that's like that's the mindset that we have to reduce or we have to cut back out so if we're gonna be more responsible sunday the lord's day or in my case Laundry day. Laundry where I live is $2 to wash and $2 to dry, which is kind of expensive. So I do this cute little non-adult thing called combining lights, mediums, and darks all into one load. Am I making my entire load of laundry susceptible to bleeding? You are. Guys, that happens a lot. Like when you wash your own stuff, the black gets gray and the white gets pinkish when you combine those two things so that's that's why my i try to wash things at my home give it to the people who are like expert in those so that the color doesn't fade but that happens a lot so the clothes when you call it the clothes are like worn out in like six months or so absolutely but am i saving two dollars good bye money you hear that? That's the sound of $2 going down the drain. What you can do instead of that, invest in Bitcoin by clicking the link down below and get 50 rupees of free Bitcoin instead of drown the drain. Or I guess through the spin cycle. I was also hosting a club meeting at my house and I needed to pick up some things for that like snacks and various other random items. It ended up being $22.30. 
another thing guys when you are in club and society when you are at the junior level you're gonna spend and i don't get the point of it the the president or head i wanna say bring this bring this like i don't get the point because my college doesn't have any society so i can't relate but i think that's not a good expense you should be more clear when you're spending because that's your hard earned money or even your parents hard earned money so you should not spend like this on any club or thing like that that's my personal opinion and i'm 19 monday was pretty freaking dope because i spent 0 dollars the reasoning for that is because i just did homework all day that's the best thing you could do guys anyone just sit at home work you have a lot of work to do that's what i usually do from monday to saturday i just spend money on sunday from going out or like bringing mcdonald's to make mcalu tikki from monday to saturday i just sit in my office all day long and spend nothing that's the best advice work keep yourself busy and by keeping yourself busy you are keeping your mind healthy and you are not going to get any toxic or dirty things in your mind which you usually do when you are have free free mind is a dirty mind occasionally i'll pay for her for gas but i didn't do it this week so yes but anyways we went to walmart and i was actually picking stuff up for our thon dancer kate which thon was a few weeks ago this video was filmed a little bit ago mm -hmm. our organization was picked to send her dancer mail so everyone on the executive board of that club guys this is another thing like if you are in that society or something stuff like that you are like on the executive was thing there are many expenses that you have to bear and i don't approve of that like i don't get the point if you are paying just for the participation like this is not a good expense like in my opinion you could do much more if you invest that money or like i know it's small or i'm i'm going to offend many people about the experience they have but i don't think like you have to do events you have to pay for them like have a free event free event are much more fun for me i think so please the money so i pitched in 10 dollars to get her that stuff while i was there i also got makeup wipes which were guys see 10 dollars here 20 dollars back and it's going to all add up to 100 dollars a month which is a lot which is like almost she what she paid for a rent so this all adds up you have to keep in the mind back of the mind that it's going to add up at some point $5.22 why i didn't pick them up while i was in all because you were lazy and i see it's going to adding up all till now so a few days ago couldn't tell you and i also got packing tape to pack up the cardboard box and that was $3 see from $10 to $30 to almost $40 it's going to add up guys my lazy butt paid $39.48 to get TGI Fridays grub hubbed for me and my boyfriend for dinner you might see this as a low point i see this as opportunity that we took advantage of i was doing so well and then i did that If my math is correct, which it's simple addition and I am in college, but y'all never know. My total for tracking what I spent in a week including fixed expenses and whatever random stuff I bought throughout the week is $362.02. Let's discuss. So yeah. That was it guys. So we just rented out a person and spending $362 per week. So now we going to like judge her so according to me half of it was like proper utensils and stuff like utilities rent and stuff and out of rest 100 180 she spent 40 on a night on a party grub hub so that's pretty bad she spent 35 just to get this face which i don't care so according to me that 180 dollars can be reduced to 140 and the rest 40 dollars can be invested in bitcoin as you are by clicking the link down below so that's a pretty good decision to be in to be honest i think she can save 30 to 40 dollars a week here and there by just carefully budgeting the things and making a proper plan other than that it was a good episode it was the first one 
I hope you like it, guys. If you like it, leave a comment down below and show your show your expression. Like, do you want? I should do this kind of stuff more often. And don't forget to hit the like button or get your free Bitcoin of worth fifty rupees. Just clicking the link below.